So if you guys want to win all this stuff here, uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how. Sometimes it's hard to face reality. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be catching the little yabby in my four foot display tank, which is over there. Give you another update on the tank. Also, I've added a new filtration system in there. I'll show you that too. And I also got some more fish. So I'll be doing a lot in this video today. So stay tuned and let's go. So the main display tank's looking really well. Doing pretty good. Just added this uh, new filter in the corner here. I uh, just wanted more surface agitation and as well it just gives those little micro bubbles which is awesome so it's a tank really really cool fish are doing well plants are going good a lot of new leaves stuff like that there's a bit of algae now as I can see so I've just bought some uh, sucking catfish so I have to quarantine them for a little bit but they'll be going in here so tank's looking really really cool now it's got that extra filter in it all those bubbles yeah look at that that's awesome, all those bubbles. Okay, so I've caught the uh, female yabby and I've just put them in one of these little breeding tanks which I've just got here. There you go, that's her. She's doing well. I've just got a, a male yabby which is over there so I'll have to float these guys soon. But firstly, I've got to get all these um, bristle nose catfish out of this fish tank. And then I'm going to have to put them in the main tank. I've got about three of them in here. They're better off um, in my main tank. Uh, there's a lot of hiding spots for them, wood and plants, and they'll just enjoy it better in there. So I'll just pop them in there, and then I'll use this top aquarium as like a, a quarantine slash um, yabby breeding system. So that should be pretty cool. So let's catch these bristlenoes. Two out of that little scoop is awesome. Alright, and the last one. There we go, I've got three of them now. It's in this little uh, bucket thing here. So I'm just gonna put all the rocks back and then start floating the yabby and the sucking catfish. Nice little Anubius here, look how good that plant's gone. Nice. Alright, so before I float the male yabby and the sucking catfish, I'll put these little bristle nose catfish in the main display tank. There we go, so I've got the catfish in my hand. I'm just gonna put them in this tank here away from all these fish. So there we go, three, two, one, pop. So they're gone. There we go. Yep. Awesome. So they're just gonna join all their little buddies in there. So they're gonna have a better home in this tank here. So I'm really glad they're in there. And now let's get on to the crayfish. Okay, so the catfish are now in the tank. Um, I didn't need to acclimate them because the same temperature in this tank was the same as the other one. All right, so now on to the crayfish. So I've heard they can be very aggressive to each other. So I've got a female already in this tank and I'm about to acclimate the male. But first I'm going to add this uh, little divider in here so that way they can still see each other and get to know each other and um, instead of tearing each other apart and ripping each other. So I'll put this in here, leave that in for a couple of weeks and see how they're doing and then once all their limbs and their claws are all regrown uh, re re back um, I'll add them, I'll remove this little divider and then hopefully we'll start getting some breeding behaviour. So I'll quickly put this in, uh, turn on the light, and then I'll start acclimating uh, fish. Okay, so I've just added the divider, turned the light on. Um, I've got the female in this little section here. I'm planning to put the male in this section. That way they've, only, they've got their own little territory and they can grow back their limbs and um, get to know each other. So I'll s see if the camera can pick this up. So I've just got some of these guys. And then the big male crayfish here. Big yabby, look at him. It's awesome, look at that, look at his claws. So the reason why I put the female in a own little separate section in the tank because 
The female doesn't even have claws and the male, he's got really, really big set of claws. So I don't want the male to kill the female. So I want the female to start growing her claws back before I add them both together. So this bag came in two layers, which is good. So it doesn't kiss the bag, start leaking. All right, so I'm just gonna pop them straight in here. There we go, and leave that for about 20 minutes or so, and then I'm going to release them. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, release the crayfish and the catfish into the tank now, so I'm just going to find some scissors. i also got to keep in mind uh, to not put the pet shop water in my fish tank. Alright, so that was the easy bit, getting the sucking catfish out of the, the bag. So now I'm going to get the male crayfish, here we go. All right, so there he is. All right, so now I'm gonna put him in the tank. All right, so now that I've got everything in the tank, I'll give you guys a close up. So I've got the female electric uh, blue crayfish in this little section here, along with five of these uh, sucking catfish things. Drop it down the side there. Yep. And then I've got the male yabby. See, he's got big claws, he's awesome. Alright, so this is my new yabby tank system, which is pretty cool. So, this is going to house these guys for a couple of weeks until they're big enough, especially these uh, sucking catfish because they're going to go into my main main display tank as well as uh, these two yabbies here so just grow, growing them out and then they're going to be my new tank tank mate so how sick is that so I've got uh, my own little yabby aquarium system here it's awesome Alright, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So um, now on to the giveaway, which is probably why most of you clicked on this video. Alright, so to win this little uh, selection I've got here, it's a GoPro Hero 5. I've got a soft shell Temco Cicada lure here. And then I've also got a packet of these uh, four inch little uh, minnows, good little lures there. Alright, so how to win that? So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, uh, comment down below any video ideas I should do in the future, and I'll most likely do them. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post my next video. So all those, uh, I think it's four, three or four, and you'll be in the draw to win this uh, lovely prize pack. So. Good luck guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to leave this competition up for about a month and um, the winner will be drawn uh, at random so I'm just going to pick some random and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you soon.